Hi guys, welcome back to VBC Academy. Present Prabhu is back with one more new video. Dear students, in the sequence of lectures on reflection at curved surfaces of our 10th class, we have seen five videos. In these last five videos, I discussed the theoretical concepts as well as mathematical concepts. Okay, so in last video, I explained the mathematical derivation of a, a mirror formula as well as magnification. First topic I have to discuss is the numerical problems. In today's session, we will discuss about the numerical problems. Okay, in general, students very easily solve the problems in mathematics, but coming to the physics, uh, they will face a little bit difficulty. It's, uh, to be frank, it's very easy. So, in physics, first of all, read the problem carefully. List out the given data. You see whether the, all the given physical quantities are they in same units or not. That is what very, very important. Okay? Then, what is the physical quantity he wants to find out? Okay? Further, we, have, we will be remembering few formulas. So, Select the appropriate formula, substitute the given data, you will get the answer. That's all, very simple. Okay. In today's session, we will see how we can solve the different problems in physics. Before going to discuss these problems, I want to recollect all the uh, formulas we have in this particular chapter. We have the first relation between uh, the first formula, that is the relation between radius of curvature R and the focal length F, that is R is equals to QF. This is the first formula we have to remember. The second one is the mirror equation. What is the mirror equation? 1 by F is equals to 1 by U plus 1 by V. Where F is the focal length, U is the object distance and V is the image distance. This also we have derived. Okay. Then the magnification formula. Magnification is given by M is equals to image height by object height, that is H I by H0, which is also equals to V by U, that is the image distance by object distance. Here, minus sign will be there, that sign conventions we have to remember. Okay? So, dear students, by using these three formulas only, we are going to solve the problems related to this chapter. Before we going to start these problems, I suggest you to refer sign conventions video once again. Just to revise sign conventions. Why? Because those are very important while solving these particular problems. Okay, let us start the problem. We will see the first problem. What is the first problem? Find the focal length of a convex mirror whose radius of curvature is 32 centimeters. Let me read the problem once again. Find the focal length of a convex mirror whose radius of curvature is 32 centimeters. So, in this particular problem, he wants to find out the focal length. That is the first point. And next, what? The data has given, he has given the radius of curvature. So, first of all, write down the radius of curvature R is equal to 32 centimeters. The radius of curvature per concave mirror will be positive. Remember this point. Why? Because according to the sign conventions. Okay. Then what he wants to find out? He wants to find out the focal length. So, what is the relation? Very simple. R is equal to 2F. R, F is equal to R by 2. Just to substitute the value of R here, what happens? 32 by 2. 32 by 2 means 16 centimeters. So, very simple problem. Just, I have recorded the given data and substituted the value in the appropriate formula. We get the answer. Okay? Easy enough? Now, let us see the next problem. What is the next problem? A concave mirror produces three times magnified real image of an object placed at 10 centimeters in front of it. Where is the image located? It wants to find out the location of the image, means image distance. First of all, what is the given data in this problem? Magnification is given, okay? So, the magnification is uh, m is equals to minus 3. One more point. Magnification in the case of concave mirror is negative. This point also we have to remember. It is based on sign conventions. Okay. Next, what he has given? 
He has given the object distance. What is the object distance? The object distance is 10 centimeters. He has given, but according to sign conventions, we have to make it as minus 10 centimeters. The object distance in a concave mirror is a negative. Refer to sign convention. That's what I, I told you people. Okay. I will not repeat this statement again and again. Okay. Just I will take. I feel you people have already gone through the sign conventions concept. They are clear to you. The next one, he wants to find out what image distance. So, he has given magnification, object distance and image distance we have to measure. Very simple. What is the formula for the magnification? Magnification M is equal to minus V by U. Already we know that formula. So, minus V by U is equal to given data. Magnification is minus 3. So, minus V by U is equal to minus 3. That is, substitute the value of U. U value is how much? Minus 10. If you substitute there, V is equal to minus into minus plus, again, you will get minus there. So, V is equal to minus 30 centimeters. So, the image is formed at a distance of 30 centimeters from the mirror. That image is towards the object. That is the reason this distance is negative. Are they able to get my point? So, here, the image is formed at a distance of 30 centimeters from the mirror. This is what the second example I want to discuss. Let us see what is the third example we have. The next example is an object of size 2 centimeters is placed at a 25 centimeters in front of a concave mirror. If the magnification produced by the mirror is 4, what is the size of the image? So, first of all, what he has given? Size of the object he has given, that is HO. Object height. Object height is 2 centimeters. It is placed at 25 centimeters in front of a concave mirror. Concave mirror, in front of concave mirror means what it is? Object distance. So, object distance U is equal to 25 centimeters. Again, minus. Okay? And magnification is how much? 4. That is, according to sign conventions, it is minus 4. What he wants to find out? He wants to find out the height of the image. So, what is the formula? Very simple. M magnification M is equal to HI by H0. Magnification M is equal to HI by H0, but he has given magnification M is equal to minus 4. Substitute the value of H0. What is the value of H0? 2. You are going to get HI is equal to minus 8 centimeters. Minus sign here indicates it is the inverted image. So, what is the size of the image? Size of the image is 8 centimeters. That is the height of the image is 8 centimeters. So, an inverted image of size 8 centimeters is formed in this case. An object of size 5 centimeters is placed at a distance of 25 centimeters from the pole of a concave mirror of radius of curvature 30 centimeters. Calculate the distance and the size of the image so formed. What will be the nature of the image? So, if you read this problem carefully, you are going to observe that object size is given as 5 centimeters. Size of the object is 5 centimeters and also object distance is also given 25 centimeters. For concave mirror, it is negative, minus 25 centimeters. And he has given the radius of curvature. You have to remember this one. So, if you know the radius of curvature very easily, we can also find out the focal length. So, what he wants to find out? He wants to find out the image height as well as image distance. So, just by having the data of object height and object distance, you cannot calculate image height or image distance. Okay, so by the by using the formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v, we can get the image uh, distance. Okay, so to get the value of f, I use the formula of r is equal to 2f for the radius of curvature is given. Okay, so let us say the focal length I want to find out first of all. So to find the focal length, I am going to use the formula f is equal to r by 2 r, r is equal to 2f formula. So, substitute the value of R that is minus 30, minus 30 by 2 is equal to minus 15 centimeters. That is the focal length. So, once we get the focal length, okay, so object distance is already there. U is what is the distance? Minus 25 centimeters. Yes, given minus 25 centimeters. So, we have to find out the image distance. So, I will calculate the image distance. So, from the equation, mirror equation 1 by F is equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V, substitute the value of F 
minus 1 by 15 is equals to minus 1 by 25 plus 1 by b or minus 1 by 25 is uh, taken this side we have 1 by b is equals to 1 by minus 1 by 20, 15 plus 1 by 25 if you solve that one just some small lcm work mathematical work i have done just i have cross multiplied 25 and minus 15 with 1 and then minus 15 into 25 this is the simple lcm method i have used you are going to get 10 by minus 15 into 25 so 1 by b is equal to 10 by minus 15 into 25 you got now by using the fifth table 5 to j 10 5 by 25 okay you are going to get 2 by minus 75 as 1 by b so b is equal to just reciprocal of it minus 75 by 2 which is nothing but minus 37.5 centimeters so image distance is minus 37.5 centimeters so you got the image distance okay so if you know the image distance you can find out the magnification okay from the magnification formula m is equal to minus v by u so v value you got minus 37.5 u value you already know minus 25 so substitute those values you are going to get magnification as minus 1.5 okay we got the magnification. He wants to find out what? Image height. Na? So, from the magnification formula, image height is equal to magnification m into h naught. Substitute the value of h naught here. You are going to get h i is equal to image height h i is equal to magnification is minus 1.5 and image height is 5 that is minus 7.5 centimeters. So, an inverted image of height 7.5 centimeters is formed at a distance of 37.5 centimeters from the mirror. This is the image we got in this particular problem. An object 3 centimeters high is placed at a distance of 8 centimeters from a concave mirror, which produces a virtual image of 45 centimeters high. What is the focal length of the mirror? Also find the position of the image. So image distance as well as focal length he wants to find out here. Okay. Let us see what is the given data. First of all, object height is 3 centimeters okay and then he has given object distance object distance is 8 centimeters as we know according to sign conventions it is minus 8 centimeters then he has also given image height what is the image height 45 centimeters so the mirror is a concave mirror so image height is 45 centimeters magnified image so it is a positive in this case okay and uh, wants to find out the focal length as well as image distance v. Yes or no? Let us substitute the value of image height, object height, object distance and uh, image distance. So, what is the image height? Image height is 45 centimeters. Image object height is 3 centimeters. And object distance is minus 8 centimeters. Okay, very simple. By using this uh, formula, we can easily find out the image distance value so just by simple cross multiplication you are going to get v is equal to 45 into 8 by 3 3 15 ja i think yes so v is equal to 15 ja 120 centimeters very simple so you got the image position image is at a distance of 120 centimeters okay now what you must find out focal length na? very simple now use the mirror form the one by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v already object distance is minus 8 centimeters image distance is 120 centimeters substitute here this formula simple mathematical manipulations cross multiplication we have to do here after cross multiplication that is lcm okay so after taking the lcm of uh, minus 8 and 120 i have done simple method here you are going to get 8 14 ja 112 so what is the value of f? f is equals to minus 120 by 14 which is equals to uh, 8.6 centimeters. So you are going to get focal length as 8.6 centimeters minus with that sign convention. Okay, let us see the next problem. A dentist uses a concave mirror of radius of curvature 20 centimeters. Where should he place the mirror to observe the teeth of the patient? general problem and for one more question i think for sort of problems will be clear what he has given 
it has given the radius of curvature as 20 centimeters okay if the radius of curvature is 20 centimeters what is the focal length 20 by 2 that is nothing but 10 centimeters so focal length of the mirror concave mirror is 10 centimeters so if we want to observe a virtual directed image of the teeth we should place the mirror in such a way that the distance between the object and the mirror should be less than 10 centimeters why because between p and f when the object is placed between p and f you are going to get virtual image na? A magnified and a virtual image, erected image, the same condition here he is going to use. So, a dentist uses, observes a virtual erected and magnified image of the teeth if he has to place the mirror between F and P, that is, he has to place the mirror less than 10 centimeters from the teeth. Coming to the last problem, an object 4 centimeters in size is placed at 25 centimeters in front of a concave mirror of focal length 15 centimeters. At what distance from the mirror should a screen be placed in order to obtain a sharp image? Find the nature and size of the image. So, instead of asking the image distance directly, he is saying at what at what position I should place the screen. On screen only image will be formed now. So, he wants to find out the image distance. So, coming to the given data, what he has given first of all object size. Object height is 4 centimeters. And he also given the distance, object distance that is 25 centimeters. Focal length is 15 centimeters. And it wants to find out image distance as well as image height. This is what the data wants to find out. In this problem, I am trying to help the given data represent it in the form of a picture. Always better to draw a picture while solving the problems. For the previous problems, I was unable to do. But it is better if you practice this method. So here I have taken a diagram, a small figure. I have taken a concave mirror. From the concave mirror, I have placed the object of a height 4 centimeters h naught. Image distance is minus 25 centimeters. Focal length is minus 15 centimeters. And it is uh, if you draw the picture, it's better. It's very easy to even apply the sign conventions. Okay. Now I am using a formula 1 by f is equals to 1 by u plus 1 by v to get the value of v. Substitute the value of focal length minus 25, uh, sorry, minus 15. So 1 by minus 15 is equals to 1 by minus 25 plus 1 by v. Here u is minus 25. So if you solve this, 1 by v is equals to 1 by 25 minus 1 by 15, which is equals to I have taken the LCM, I got minus 2 by 75. Simple mathematical, please go through it. Okay. So if you get v as uh, 1 by v as minus 2 by 75 means v means minus 75 by 2 that is nothing but 37.5 centimeters. So image distance is 37.5 centimeters. Now you have to find out the magnification. So what is the formula for the magnification? Magnification m is equal to hi by h naught r minus v by u. You got the value of uh, both hi. We have to find out image height whereas h naught is 4 already given image distance object distance we have already uh, have that information okay so image distance is minus 37.5 and uh, object distance is minus 25 so simple mathematication uh, mathematics uh, i have applied here i have cross multiplied for this side so h i is equals to minus 6 centimeters a small mathematical part so image height is how much 6 centimeters and where it is found at a distance of 37.5 centimeters okay dear students these are the problems i want to discuss with you people i hope all of you uh, understand the first chapter almost all this is the sixth video in these six videos i have tried to cover maximum concepts okay so keep watching my videos i wish you all the best okay we'll meet in next chapter i am going to discuss about the refraction of a light at curved surfaces within short period okay see you in next video thank you